what's up everyone you clicked on this video because you want to know how your girl lost 80 pounds in six months so let's get right into it hey everyone my name is Nardia welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video you are going to learn how it is I was able to lose 80 pounds in six months let's get into it now listen 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 keenly okay listen keenly now there are two parts in this story I'm gonna be talking about my diet journey first and then I'm gonna be talking about my fitness journey all right so let's get into it I'm gonna be talking about my diet journey first right so when it comes down to my diet what did I do what did I eat how much of what did I eat right did I count calories did I do all of these different diets well the answer is no all I did was literally be consistent I made sure that I was in a calorie deficit right but guess what I'm gonna be giving you everything that I did so let's go all the way back to 2020 okay so it's 2020 right January 1st and I'm deciding that I want to make a change right because not only did your girl put on a little weight the year before you know she was a little plumpy than normal so what did I do I decided that I was gonna stick it out right I was going to stick it out so what I did was make sure I got rid of every single fast food right so I completely got rid of eating fast foods so no KFC no Burger King no pizza right it's not it's not that bad as how you think right this is all about the mental aspect right because guess what people think that losing weight is about doing a lot of exercises changing up your entire diet but guess what you do need to change your lifestyle right you need to incorporate some lifestyle changes in order to see any change and that's exactly what I did no I got rid of every fast food I did not eat late right I did not eat after 6 p.m. every single day and what I found out is that fruits vegetables right you know your greens your broccoli and your cabbage all of those those became my best friends now, what am I talking about did I completely deprive myself of eating no all I did was two simple steps I incorporated more fruits and vegetables in my diet when I say more I mean more way more than what I was normally eating before so let's go back to January right so in January I was going to work right and I decided that listen I can't be sitting for literally almost seven hours daily and still eat as how I was eating so you know lunchtime came I was eating my Burger King I was eating KFC right those fast foods and I decided that listen it's gonna end so what I started to do was incorporate small changes so I stopped eating the fast foods I started to eat more fruits vegetables and most importantly salads so with the salads it had so many different combination of you know vitamins it had combination of minerals you know I had my protein my carbohydrates and I made sure that I was eating healthy All right so I moved from incorporating salads to a process of intermittent fasting so what is intermittent fasting It's basically you know incorporating a window of eating and not eating that's simply so what I did there's so many different methods right you can fast for 16 hours meaning not eating anything but you eat all of your foods within an eight hour window that's what I did right and not only did I realize that that made a big change right it got me to not binge eat so you know like for example you go into the kitchen at night all right so for those of you who are from the caribbean you know you have sunday monday 
right that nice rice and peas on sunday eating it monday and then some of you take it into the rest of the week so for example tuesday wednesday right thursday friday and then saturday sunday again so i made sure that i did not binge eat at all and one of the reasons when you binge eat you're consuming so much calories but you think that it because it's in small portions right you're not eating a lot one time but guess what all of those add up right and many persons are wondering like why am i gaining weight right you want to ensure that you cut out all binge eating i definitely stick within my 16 hour intermittent fasting window ensure that i stick to my fruits and my vegetables i also cut out some forms of red meat so i had way less beef and you know curry goats and those things I didn't even eat chicken really right I ate some fish somewhat but I ate so many different fruits and vegetables I totally got rid of eating meat now this is totally optional for you I was not only just you know doing a cleanse of eating more fruits and vegetables I wanted to become healthier when it comes on to not creating so much mucus in my body and that is one of the reasons why studies normally show that persons who consume a lot of meat products they are more prone to like cancer right they are more prone to like all sorts of diseases that would be avoidable if they only ate you know to a certain limit as well as if they just completely cut it out now some people are gonna be like what cut out you know my fried chicken and my curry chicken i know you don't have to do that right this is exactly what i did so just know that i am not a health professional right and uh, it's a disclaimer because what i do may not work for you i'm just telling my story letting you know exactly how i was able to lose the pound all right so that's me with my diet journey right i would consider it as a diet it became a lifestyle change for me because not only did i learn how to mix up my food right and how to be creative with my food because for example i am talking about making salads some people think it's just cutting up you know lettuce and tomatoes right and cucumbers and that's it that's your salad no like there's so many different foods that you can eat that are literally filling no this is a tip trust me when it was mango season right in 2020 i got down with my mangoes and i don't know what's the explanation behind this but i knew that i ate two or three mangoes every single day for at least maybe a couple months probably like three months and the reason i did that because it was in season so i ate mangoes right i made mango juice i did everything right and what i noticed is that my skin my skin was having a lot of bumps pimples right it had these dark spots that are literally no longer there and when i do my pictures you know compare my pictures of my before and my after like it's a major change so i'm gonna incorporate some pictures right here right so this is me when i you know had on all the weight and uh, you see like there's some black spots in my chest and the second one is when i literally became free right i literally felt so much better within myself so basically all you need to do one be consistent if you're not going to be consistent for at least two not even two months three to four months don't expect to see any type of changes right these changes may come but guess what you're going to put on the weight back and i have a story on that right but i literally did this in six months i started small you know these changes were not so recognizable until one day i was like damn my pants are literally dropping off me 
right my blows all my clothes were literally dropping off me i was happy and i was so confused because i'm like what am i going to wear right because no i have to go on a new shopping spree to get some clothes that could actually fit me right so be consistent definitely eat in a calorie deficit so it doesn't really matter what you eat it really matters how much of what you eat right so if it's a case where you're going to be eating way more calories than what you're actually doing so if you're not working out if you're not keeping active guess what you're gonna gain weight it's simple as that but you have to be consistent you have to incorporate lifestyle changes eating more fruits vegetables right these items will literally detox you right another thing when we talk when we're another thing now that we're talking about detox right i did so much different detox right i made sure to detox when it comes on to there's a fruit called noni right that we have in the caribbean country and uh, that is what i use for my detox right i drank a lot of ginger water a lot of lime water and cucumber right i made sure that i drank these different water right and uh, when i drank those different water not only did i realize that listen the weight was dropping off real fast but i look better i felt better and many persons you don't have to do this whole lot of change right you just need to incorporate small changes and over time you will see success so i'm gonna be showing you so this is a picture of before this is after and most importantly like i know what you're thinking how much did i weigh here well i weighed 258 pounds that was my heaviest here this is 178 pounds now that is impressive i didn't even recognize myself right that's what many persons told me as well like they didn't know it was me or i look different or i look slim or you know i got the compliments and i'm gonna be creating a video about how it is that people treat you before and after your weight loss right so stay tuned Def definitely click the notification bell so that you'll be notified when i upload my videos all right so let's get into my fitness journey now all right guys so my fitness journey is nothing like what you would have seen on instagram i'm not lifting dumbbells i'm not bench pressing i'm not doing any of that but guess what i had the muscles i gained the muscles right and what did i do i literally stayed active can you do that right if you can just stay active every single day for at least 30 minutes and that's intentional exercise right anything that you want to do now for those who actually have different body types right you know everyone has a different body type you may need like a plan in terms of what exactly to work on or the different exercises that you should be doing if you have any complications or any health problems you know definitely go and check out from your health provider if you can even take part in physical activity or exercise before taking on such a task now i made sure that from january 1st right to june it was some day in june i don't remember I definitely dropped the date but i stayed active right i did my jumping jacks i did my woman push-up because i'm not able to do those man push-up right i did basically everything that literally was simple right i used my skipping rope right i did my squats you know i had uh, like little small dumbbells they were like two pounds each and i literally lifted them every single day i'm gonna show you exactly a picture of how i look right because guess what by doing those exercises i had a huge change so look on the picture before this is my before picture and if you notice i had a lot of belly fat and this is the one after like all my belly fat was completely gone right and not only was i excited right because those that i had that couldn't fit me now they could fit and they were looking snug right i felt more confident within myself and trust me 
it's not easy because some people you know your major problem is because you do not want to sweat guess what if you are gonna lose weight be prepared to sweat if you do not sweat you will not lose any weight don't let these you know these gurus fool you you can you know jump on a little diet for two weeks and bam lose a lot of weight it's literally false persons do not just get up like that and lose weight unless they're taking some other substances to actually help them now some of you may be saying oh that, that's that's not true you know i've known someone that literally lost like 10 pounds within one week is it possible yes is it healthy no all right so you want to ensure that you're losing weight on a small consistent basis and trust me when i said i did my workout i did my workout so how often did i work out i worked out two times per day yeah and guess what it wasn't like me going on this samurai you know this this challenge that i have to exercise for two hours in the morning and two hours in the evening no i didn't do that all i did was make sure that i exercise for at least 45 minutes in the morning or in the day right and definitely 45 minutes to one hour in the night and trust me when you exercise and then you go and sleep afterward you feel like a newborn baby it was the best time of my life not only did my sleep improve you know i definitely saw some changes in how i was able to move you know for example some people they're not able to you know be all that flexible guess what when i started doing some exercises i could do a lot of things that i did not know i was capable of and that's one of the advantages like you're gonna be exercising sooner or later you're going to be doing all those special effects that you see right you're going to be able to put your foot over your head right that's what i did and trust me it's a great feeling if you are you know you're familiar with like when you were kids and you started to do all these splits i found myself doing that i was like what and i realized that that's the life that i wanted i wanted to be able to be flexible right to keep the joints very lubricated because if you are not moving up your joints and your muscles you will lose them you are going to feel so tired so i was less tired hmm. child i was able to walk up a hill and when i say walk up a hill i don't mean one of these little slopes i mean a hill right so i took jogs early morning jogs i just stayed consistent and that's what you need to do like stay consistent so that's really the end of my video it's no secret all you need to do be consistent you know incorporate small lifestyle changes right to your diet right and this is not something that you're trying it's something that you will dedicate yourself to doing for as long as you live right to be honest that's the only way you can actually lose weight and definitely detox detox is very important you're getting rid of those toxins out of your body because trust me many people think that you have a big belly most people don't have a big belly right this is what they actually have in their gut at least 15 to 20 pounds of waste and that is very unhealthy so thank you so much for listening to my video you know watching my video and i hope that i actually encouraged you inspired you to make a change because like the new year is coming up everyone is gonna be in the gym but i was not in the gym and like you can be in the gym if you want to but if you don't have a gym nearby you or you don't have access to a gym guess what just do these exercises in your backyard in your room small changes right and as i mentioned next week i'm gonna be talking about like some tips what should you actually do before you get into your exercise into your commitment of losing weight right so thank you so much for watching definitely go ahead like share and subscribe hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when i post my next video right and thank you so much have a great day